I would be happy to yield. Okay, we're about to approach noon where we'll have a moment of silence, not only in memory of those who were lost and those who were injured, but in all of the workforce here on Capitol Hill who worked through that day in a very, very, under dire circumstances, they did an amazing job, and in, in, in uh, uh, recognition of the great job they do for us every day. So we thank not only the floor staff, but all of those who work here. And with that, um, I think we'll commence the moment of silence. And after we finish, I'll call on Senator Klobuchar Durbin and then Senator Stabenow will resume, okay? So if we might now at 12 noon, well, it's a little before 12. Yeah. It's two minutes uh, before. Senator Schumer. Senator Klobuchar is your Thank you two very minutes. much. Um, I just Senator wanna, from Minnesota. I want to recognize the heroic efforts uh, of our staff, many of whom are here with us today, uh, of our law enforcement, uh, who in the face of overwhelming numbers and an unprecedented violent assault valiantly place their lives on the line for this republic. It is also an opportunity to remember to recommit ourselves to making sure nothing like this ever happens again. As President Biden said today, our democracy held, we the people endured, we the people prevailed. And we devote this moment of silence to those who stood up, not only for this building, not only for the people that worked here, but for our very democracy itself. A minute of silence, a moment of silence for all of those who have helped us then and help us now, the staffs and everybody else. Under the previous order, the Senate will now observe a moment of silence in observance of the events of January 6th, 2021. Senator, Senator Stabenow. The Senator from Michigan. Thank you, Mr. President. 